How you doing? This is Don Idle Tools, idletools.com. We're going to be talking about Mophie 4500s versus the little pucks we all know that we get down at Walmart or this one came from Sprint, uh, which is now T-Mobile, if you didn't know that, uh, for setting up quality internet for whatever your purposes are. And we're going to get away from this idea where we take this, which has like a six foot range and hook it to our router and redistribute our Internet over to, in our case, our miners. Uh, it's unreliable, but worse than that, guys, it's battery. It's got a battery. These things are designed to be battery packed up. They're designed for, to set on a conference table, let everybody share the Internet. Uh, which days is gone because, frankly, every hotel room has that now. Uh, we're, we've adapted them. You know, I'm, I'm guilty. I've got one in my hands. All right. This thing was $400 uh, when I bought it. <clears throat> took a, took a, a Linksys router, talked to it wirelessly, redistributed the Internet on another band, and then also plugged into the back of it so I had Ethernet. Right, send that Ethernet out to a switch. Had lots and lots of ports. But I want to show you this. I'm going to put these up right here. Okay, there's the batteries. See the three three extra batteries? Well, I, ha I, I buy them in packs of five because this wasn't designed to be plugged in 24-7. And it hates heat. Guess what we got to set it next to, right? Uh, they just absolutely hate it. Oh, put the backpack on it. Well, I was going to show here first because my uh, sim card for this is inside so if you bought a, a t-mobile verizon whatever you already got a plan and you're happy with your plan now i live out here in an industrial area where the oil field is uh so they rape us with every nickel they can you know oil man bad just the same as uh orange man bad if if you if you make your money Doing something people need. My God, you're the most evil person on the planet. You you got to be planting trees and doing YouTube videos if you got if you're gonna be loved. All right, but this is a bad idea. This is why I'm doing this video. All right, and so that when your buddy's asking you, hey, how am I gonna get the internet set up out in my my shed in my backyard? <clears throat> am I gonna run a cable from the house to the backyard? Don't do that. You're gonna hit it with a weed whacker. Eventually, some, but something's going to happen, and those cables you buy are not designed to be outside in the sunlight. You're going to have a problem there at some point. And just because you can buy 100-foot cables does not mean you can run a 100-foot cable. All right? So don't do that. Uh, man, I, like, I got like a delay on my uh, screen. I hope it's not showing up on the video. Uh, so this... I had it in one other video, and I got all these links below, guys. All right. This is a Mophie 4500. It's still in a wrapper. I haven't even opened it yet, although it's starting to peel off. Yeah. What? Ooh, major unwrapping. Can I call this an unwrapping video like you care that I unwrap something? I hope you don't care that I unwrap something. It's nobody's business that it had wrapping on it before. Um... They use these pad. They, they send these paddles with the link. The one I got in the link, the description down there. It's usually good enough in an in a uh, heavy building area. We'll go about two and a half, three miles to a tower. Usually one in your town, with all the buildings in the way. Uh, it'll actually go 15, 20 miles of these things. You know, depending on. I'm in a. St I, I got 10 inch thick walls, steel building. Uh, I had to move it over to the window and kind of direct it, and then I put some aluminum foil behind it. You know, you can still use aluminum foil on these things. <clears throat> I put some aluminum foil behind it and had it bounce it towards the tower, and it worked for me until I got my antennas in. And now I got the unidirectional antennas. You can look at the other video. Uh, out the links in below about unidirectional antennas. Things I didn't tell you in that video that I should tell you now, you only need one. One increases your range about 70%. A second antenna adds an additional 30% to the 70. All right? It's not 70 plus 
30 equals 100. It's 30% more of your 70% gain. Uh, when you're doing antenna math, okay, so this starts to apply to people who do H&T bindings. It's the same equipment, same type of booster, duper booster antennas, right? You have to double every 3dB is doubling. You have to double to get 20% more range. Okay, so whatever your range was before, three more dB double it only gives you 20% more range. So if I go from one mile, three dB gives me 1.2 miles. All right, six dB is twice as powerful as three dB. Okay. Now, people get confused on this. Every 3 dB doubles. 9 dB is twice as powerful as 6 dB. Not, doesn't go all the way, it's not twice as, it's not three times more powerful. It's only twice as, it's twice as powerful as 6 dB. So you, you have to start doubling, doubling. I'll put a chart up on uh, Idle Tools. Uh, so I, I will put out an antenna chart. Okay, because it's confusing DB math. It'd be nice to just look at the chart and say, okay, I know what I got. I know what I need. This is what I buy from Amazon. All right, we'll do that for you. We'll make that easy. Uh, but the Mophie 4500, uh, I have a SIM 7 that I'm broadcasting this on now. This is a SIM 8 that I bought. Uh, I'm going to try to see what the difference between the SIM 7 and SIM 8s are. Uh, this is a $300 what if project for me. Uh, I. No, they just upgraded the stuff. I I'm, I, I own the backbones here for uh, in the computer company's repair work here for the last decade. Uh, I actually owned an internet service provider in this area for, for almost 12 years. And so the phone company still comes by to buy parts from me. Uh, the, uh, they're, the only, they're the only customer I have left because I've, I've made everybody else go away. Uh, but... If I don't sell the phone company parts, then it takes them three months to get their crap in the ground like they're supposed to. Uh, it only takes me a day to get in in-house and mark it up for them. So, uh, this, you're going to run this Mophie to a router. One cable. Do not run four items out of the back of this Mophie. And uh, I'm, I'm going to put this in another video, but I'll go over it real quick. You're going to do the same thing out of your router to your switch. One cable out of one port to your switch. Okay. Then expand your switch and use a good router. Don't use a cheap router. You're at, if you got a 32 port switch, uh, I will put the, and it, they're expensive. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, I've learned my lessons on switches a long time ago. There are $20 switches on Amazon. You want the $300 ones. I promise you, you do. The ones that come with come with plugs and power supplies on the inside of them have PoE built into them in case you need that later. But for the most part, you just want good processors and lots of memory inside your switches. I use uh, Intelligent as my uh, provider for that. They, they do not fail me. Uh, by doing the linear 111, you will not bottleneck your system. Okay, you will get random collisions if you try to start splitting things. If it's like plugging 50 outlets in, in the back of the kitchen wall, you know, you didn't you didn't fool anybody by plugging them four of them in here, four of them in here, and 16 of them in the switch. Uh, I guarantee you, your router can't handle it, and that is the core of everything. But when you go from one out of this. This, the reason this works so much better, okay, we got to get into that. This is firmware and software that is talking to the tower differently than this does. This acts like a phone. This is a business enterprise level device. You will have to use Internet Explorer 11 to set this up. Okay. Uh, Chrome. Firefox, the new Internet Explorer, they will screw up numbers talking to this thing. Uh, that might not be true with the Mo with the with the ver the Sim 8 version, uh, but I don't know that for a fact. I know on the Sim 7 it still says use Internet Explorer 11, and I did have problems with Chrome, so I now got a link on my desktop. 
you know, we go in here and go to screen one up here. Launches my Internet Explorer. <laughs> All right, we're going to go in. Show you that I'm actually operating on a Moti, you know, a Moti 4500 4X LG version two. What did my, what did I buy here? Uh, I know mine's a Sim 8, but I don't know if this is, this is a version three that I'm showing you in my hand. What I'm broadcasting on now is a version two. Uh, they do have a 5G version of this, so if you live in an area where you can get one gig up, one gig down with your cell phone. It's an extra two hundred dollars for the five G version. I'll get the link for the five G version down in there. There are fake Mofis out there. That's why I'm putting the links in the in the description, guys. It's not the I, God. I, I think I make three dollars off one of these sales if you buy it off Amazon. It's it's not enough to give a shit about. Uh, the uh, but we set these things up and then we go in here into the settings. Hold on. There's going to be some setups from your company. I, I've got a company down below that I that, that I recommend for getting your SIM cards from, but it'll work with your local consumer cellular from Walmart SIM card. Okay, if you don't need a lot of bandwidth, okay, if you're running an H and T miner, they can sir they consume 20, 30 gigs a month, so you need to know that. Okay, the one that I the the one, the company that I'm using, I have 900 gigs a month of data for $110. I could run 1080p movies all the time. That's one of the reasons I got it. Is because my local internet company, the one that the DSL, I only get 12 megs of download. I get 50 from the internet, and it treats it like a continuous stream, where these things are constantly, uh, they're two seconds in, two seconds out. They're a horrendous internet connection because it talks like a cell phone you know your cell phone company will throttle your bandwidth at certain given hours this part of your contract you know what i just realized guys i got my camera sitting right in front of my face all right so there's that so we get in here there, there's setups inside this thing Movi version 2 there it is uh the thing i wanted to show you when i get in here is band lock i lock you know i told it what band I want to be on okay there's uh, seven or eight bands for cell phones uh, it this becomes a trial and error thing I'll do a whole video on trial and error setup because I got a brand new one here and I'm gonna have to set it up so that's coming next this is about don't use the puck use the Mophie and subscribe to make sure you're gonna get the how to set up one of these Mophies uh, because I'm waiting on the new sim card to come in and there's a couple specific ways of setting these things up that you just got to do. Uh, I'm going to be testing live the version between version 2s, version 3s, because I'm switching to a version 3, and I know why I'm doing it. Uh, there's nothing wrong with my version 2. Absolutely nothing. Uh, well, I'm not switching to a version 3. Uh, that's, I'm adding a version 3 to a a separate building and I don't want wires run between my buildings right so when I build so in your case if you're building a, uh, a, a little greenhouse or a shed in the backyard you need to put internet in it this is perfect for putting a remote internet station in that shed that way you only have to run electric you're not running phones you're not running DSL you're not running Ethernet out there uh, which means you can put it in the back corner of the yard away from the house if you I mean you can start thinking more remote with your thinking uh, bearing one electrical cable is easy bearing electrical cables plus cat six cables that is insane on a stick uh, where is my camera my gosh there we go that's insane on a stick uh, do note uh, I'll make this note uh, the difference between cat five cat six cables is if you're running them next to power you're running a lot of power especially a lot of 220 for these miners only by cat six cables uh it will save you a bunch of lost packets uh you know it's they also have a lot of crosstalk when you 
like put a big fat bundle of cables together because you're running them from point A to point B. We're going to get into that when I get set up with the uh, the chaseway that I'm setting up for all the miners that I'm running for the... Uh, I'm shorting the bot miners. You should watch that video, guys. Anybody that's mining should be shorting the bot. I cleared $1,500 in the last two weeks off a $30 freaking income off my bots. A day, a day income off my bots. And I cleared 1500 bucks on it. So watch that one. I'm going to have some new videos out because now that I got money in the trading, it's accelerating per day and we're on the uprise and I'm having, I, I, but I making money shorting using the crypto that I've got because I want to keep the crypto I got and shorting it. It's a way to keep it and make money only bet the down. Uh, it doesn't go away. You don't lose money. It's not like shorting stocks. So, be careful. Watch out for this stuff. Uh, this is definitely, look at the comments below. Get the stuff you're wanting. Uh, ask me in the comments if you got problems. I will address it. And if it's big enough problem, we'll go out there and do a how-to video on it. Uh, uh, I don't know what kind of problems you're going to see. I, a bunch of this stuff's been in my head for 30 years, so I just do it. Until you ask me, why didn't this work this way? Why did this do that way? I don't know what it miss, information is missing. Uh, so... Please ask me in the comments below what the, what the hell I'm doing next.